My name is Nolan Weber. Growing up, I think I always believed there was a God, but it didn't mean anything to me. I was living my life for myself. I was doing things that made me feel good and made me feel happy, but I ended up just making a mess of everything. Living a life for myself truly wasn't that fulfilling. By my senior year of high school, I was lost and depressed and had no idea what to do. I was disappointing my family, my friends, and ultimately myself. If I can be totally honest, that's when I met Rock Bottom, but thankfully, it was at Rock Bottom that I finally met Jesus. I knew things needed to change, and I thought church would be the best place to start. I met Reed and a few people at Gwinnett Church, and that's where my life turned around. As Christ began to be an important venture in my life, I started doing things to consume myself into living a life completely for Him. I realized that Christ forgives me for my sins, my past, my present, and my future, and that He loves me for who I am and not some cleaned up, fixed up version of myself, but me right in the middle of where I am right now. It hasn't necessarily been easy. I still have my good and bad days, but I'm in for the journey and I know that wherever Christ takes me, I will be safe with Him. I've recently started serving in Upstreet over the past few months and I can't explain in words the ways that God is impacting me in my life right now. God is good all the time and I can't thank anyone more than Him for all that has happened in my life. My mom has unknowingly poured into me so much in so many amazing ways and it's unbelievable the ways that I have changed because of her. I want to thank my closest friends for always helping me keep my head up high, the kindergartners that I serve every Sunday, and Christ himself for bringing me to this point in my life. I'm more than excited to be baptized and to share with all of you that I love Jesus and that he is my Lord and Savior. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, hey, real quick, before we do this, y'all, this is his 19th birthday. Like, how cool, yeah, yeah. Um, they told me I wasn't allowed to sing him happy birthday, so if on the count of three, if we could just give him the biggest cheer that we could in celebrations of his birthday, that would be awesome. Here we go, one, two, three. Yes. Happy birthday, dude. Um, but first of all, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for being bold and courageous and sharing your faith and open and honest about your story. Uh, you talked about how there's a point in your life where you were living for yourself, you were living for Nolan, you were doing things that would make you happy, you were pursuing the things that you wanted to do, and you said, hey, that life wasn't very fulfilling. And eventually I did hit rock bottom. But the cool thing is that God redeems stories and through meeting Reed and attending Gwinnett Church, you begin to formulate a relationship with Jesus. You begin to pursue after Jesus and chase after the things that he wanted you to chase after. And what's so cool is when you did that, you found, hey, the best, the most fulfilling life possible is a life following Jesus, a life pursuing after Jesus and what he wants for your life. And through that, you're able to say, hey, God loves me right where I'm at that I don't have to get cleaned up or fixed up or, or all shiny in order for Jesus to love me. He loves me right where I'm at, in the middle of failure, in the middle of tough times, in the middle of tough situation. God loves me right where I am. And maybe some of you are sitting out there this morning and you're thinking, yeah, that's great that that happened for Nolan, but there's no way that God could love me. If God saw what I'm walking through, if God saw the failures that are in my life, if God saw the tough times, the tough circumstances in my life, there's no way that he could love me. And what I wanna let you know and what Nolan wants to let you know is he does, he loves you. That you don't have to get cleaned up or fixed up in order for Jesus to love you, that he loves you right where you're at. He loves you in the midst of those tough seasons and those tough circumstances. And that's so good, I'm so glad that you found out that God's love doesn't require you to get cleaned up or fixed up. He loves you right where you're at. And the last thing before we do this is I just wanna say thank you for serving. Thank you, it's because they're right here. God. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, all right, here we go. <clears throat> thank you for serving. Thank you for serving these kindergarten students. On behalf of them, on behalf of their families, on behalf of Gwinnett Church, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for investing in the next generation. And I'm believing because of your service that one day they will be in the spot that you're in. And the, yeah. Yeah. 
You're changing lives, dude. So thank you. Thank you so much for taking that next step in your faith and serving. We are so, so proud of you. You ready? Let's do it. Well, Nolan, based on your public profession of faith, it is my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.